We are Just definitely a few favorites from my collection. Rescued and stored here just before I went off world. Take a look if you like. I do want to I'm take a look as a matter of fact. Your impressions. My friend is dead. Beta and Gaia are gone, and you want me to look at old paintings? Don't be so quick to dismiss the comfort we can find in art. Or the insight we might gain. Examine the art. Well, it's optional. I'll probably just look at one or two. Paintings were the only masterpieces of my people's golden age. This is Von Vianen's Lidded Ewer. Done so soon. I've got more important things. <laughs> I didn't realize those were the... There is much we are trying to save. Not the least of which is in that vault. There's nothing wrong with savoring such treasures for a moment more. Or come upstairs and we'll get down to business. Your choice. I, I didn't realize it was going to cut me off if I was just walking away, but oh well. I'm okay with that decision. I can't move! Is that- that's her? I still want to know why she saved me. Feeling better? How did you find us? At the cauldron? And what did you do to everyone right before I passed out? All business, I see. Well, suffice it to say we were keeping a very close eye on Hephaestus. Knowing we would need it at some point. Your ruse didn't fool us. And as for... My little trick... It was an overload of the senses accompanied by an energy discharge gerard and eric were only momentarily disoriented due to their shields but it it rendered you unconscious while i got you out okay perhaps some breakfast might steady you a bit i want to know her intentions just making sure it's not a trap if it was you'd be dead already this was your house. The one you recreated for Beta in the data channel you shared. How perceptive of you. For real. Face this way. <clears throat> After everything your people have done, you think I'm just gonna sit down and have a chat with you? They're not my people. They never were, and especially not now. You shot off into space with them and live with them for a thousand years before coming back. So what made you suddenly turn on them? Quite simply, this. My old focus. You repaired it? But that means you've seen incredible things. What you've accomplished in two decades of life. Wow. A thousand years at my back and I haven't even come close. daddy -o. I invaded your privacy. But I had to. In order to understand. To be enlightened. You truly are... Elizabeth's blood. With her drive, her sense of mission, her integrity. Watching all this shamed me for the company that I've kept. Having seen it, all I want is to help you. Even if it means stopping your friends? Especially so. Please, sit down. Nothing even came out of that. Now, we must recover Beta and Gaia at all costs. By now, you must know that Gerard intends to use Gaia to reboot the Earth's biosphere. Remaking this world to specifications that would only suit us immortals. This process will kill every living thing on the planet. 
He calls it a clean install. Not if I stop him first. Not if we do. And once he and the others are gone, we can work together to fulfill Elizabeth's dream. I'm sure Beta told you that there's a build of the Apollo database on board our ship. A complete collection of human knowledge. With that and Gaia, we could do everything Elizabeth wanted. Heal the biosphere, educate the people of this world, uplift them. Create the world she imagined. <clears throat> Let's not get ahead of ourselves. From what I've seen, your friends are invincible. I do wish you would stop calling them my friends. And they're not invincible. In fact, a friend of yours has found a way to defeat them. Silence. Which? Oh. oh. He's been of a baby. Having an army powerful enough to crash through Gerard's precious base. Regala and her rebels. Even now she's preparing a final march on the Tanakh the capital. When she wins, she'll have the entire tribe under her control. Hundreds of warriors and machines to throw at the base. She's been duped. They'll all perish, of course. But it should be enough to break Gerard's defenses and allow silence to kill him along with all the others. Using the new weapon he's developed. Yes, he's found a way to circumvent our shields. Truly an exceptional man, he's planned for everything, except you and me. You see, while his army is battering down Gerard's doors, you and I will sneak in through a back way, one that only I know about, while Silence in my friends are busy battling each other. We'll take back Beta and Gaia. I told you I want to help you. I mean it. Uh, my focus. My old focus. How did you find it, let alone repair it? When we encountered you at the Hades Proving Lab, Gerard saw you as a redundancy. I knew better. You were a revelation. After your dramatic escape, bravo, by the way. Gerard and Eric assumed you were dead and gave up the hunt. I wasn't so sure. When the others were busy, I returned to the lab and searched for any trace of you. That's when I found this little treasure. Not easy to repair, but certainly worth the effort. As I watched your life unfold, you were like a splash of color on a worn canvas. What Liz was, and more. Did you show it to the others? Of course not. It was your actions that inspired me to defy them. It's worth noting that if I hadn't found it and watched its contents, I wouldn't have known to save you at the cauldron. You'd be dead. So I should be grateful? If you like. Yep. <laughs> Okay, so what about you? So you know all about me. What about you? What would you like to know? Everything. Start with your life on Earth. When I was eight, terrorists flooded my home city. Thousands drowned, my parents included. I was one of the few who survived. My guardian sent me to boarding school. Among my peers, I was the strange girl, the orphan to be avoided. All because of circumstances beyond my control. Oh. So we're a lot alike, huh? Aren't we? <laughs> you were an outcast. But you didn't let that stop you from getting what you needed. Neither did I. I climbed my way out of desolation and used my wits to build a fortune. First, from the technical analysis of art and the detection of forgeries. Profitable expertise in those days. But as it turned out, the software I developed was even more useful for counterintelligence. From there, it was only a short step to gathering extremely valuable intelligence on my own. You were a spy? More like a service one could turn to for information. 
Yeah, so yes, I bye. I remain anonymous, of course, to protect my privacy. But despite that anonymity, Far Zenith inevitably sought me out. Okay, so joining Far Zenith? What happened when Far Zenith approached you? They painted an irresistible vision of humanity's future. One where we need not fear illness or death. Where we explored the furthest reaches of the stars and thrived. It was only later that I realized that they only intended to bequeath this future to the rich and powerful. By the time I finally figured it out, the walls were closing in, Faro's machines were devouring the Earth. So I accepted Far Zenith's invitation to a birth on the Odyssey. I wanted Liz to come, but she had nobler plans, as you well know. Okay, the other Zeniths? This is gonna be a long conversation, it looks like. So you didn't know the other Zeniths <coughs> were monsters until it was too late? I, I knew some of them were, certainly. It, it wasn't until we were off planet that I understood the true scope of their greed. I was grateful to simply be alive, but the others became obsessed with a kind of effortless immortality. They built a colony where machines serviced their every need, where any memory or fantasy could be endlessly savored in virtual reality. It wasn't life. It was stultifying, a pampered dream state. As the decades passed, I withdrew more and more, alone yet again, but this time with eons to consider my mistakes. Now, finally, having met you, I feel like I have a second chance. To do what? Help you, of course. To fulfill Liz's dream, which isn't so different from Far Zenith's original vision. A better future for humanity. Okay. Tell me about Beta. You said Beta is not in urgent danger. So what are the Zeniths doing to her? Putting her to work. Merging Hephaestus with Gaia. A difficult, time-consuming task, as I'm sure you know. They will compel her if need be. But her life is not in danger. She's the only one who can do it. Because you people made her to be nothing but a tool. Gerard's idea, not mine. They always viewed me with suspicion when I attempted any form of kindness towards her. That's why I created the data channel. A virtual place where we could speak in peace. I mean, it makes sense. Data channel. This channel you shared with Beta. None of the other Zeniths ever found out about it. Gerard believes he's the most cunning of all of us. Even after a thousand years, he still can't imagine that I would outwit him. The channel allowed me to interact with Beta away from their mistrustful eyes. It offered us a chance to be ourselves. Until you cut off all contact. Yes. Though it pained me. I was worried that our meetings would do her more harm than good. She felt like you tossed her aside. I was afraid the others would find out and punish her. She may not have had the comforts of friendship anymore, but at least I ensured she was safe. I mean, that's I fair. It's harsh, but you must believe that her well-being has always been paramount to me. I mean, she is being... I guess she's... I, I, I kind of believe her. She's being believable, you know? This place. Why did you make the data channel look like this place? I built this house as a shelter to weather any storm. A safe place. Not just for me, but for the art stored below. Cultural artifacts of incalculable value. Truly, some of the greatest achievements of human civilization. And you wanted Beta to see them? Yes. Her upbringing was so cold and technical. I thought if she could experience Vermeer and Rembrandt, it would bring something else into her life. A heritage every bit as valuable as the scientific and technical data being drummed into her. I'm sorry I had to cut off contact, but I'll never regret sharing this house with her. She needed its shelter even more than I did. 
I mean, it makes sense. I, I don't... And she did save my life, you know? So I, I don't have really any reason other than the fact... Other than the fact that she is technically a Zenith. To not trust her, so... I don't know. Let's see where this goes. The Zenith's plan. Beta told me your colony was destroyed. <clears throat> that you came back to Earth because you had nowhere else to go. It's true. After we reached our destination, a planet in the Sirius star system, we spent decades building a new home. The physical constraints of Earth, the boundaries of mortality, gone. To think of what we could have done with it. It might have been a utopia. Instead, we stagnated, absorbed in effortless comforts and virtual realities. It took a cataclysm to finally yank us out of our stupor. What happened? A massive geological event. We knew of instabilities in the planet core, but we underestimated them. By the time the collapse was upon us, it was too late to stop it. Only a few of us made it to the ship in time. We set course for Earth, the only safe harbor left to us. Which you decided to make unsafe for anyone else. Not me. Gerard. He believes it's better to wipe the canvas clean than work around the smudges. No more primitive tribes, no more combat machines, only a blank slate to do with as he pleases. But we will stop him. All we have to do is get into that base. Probably gonna be ease, uh, easier said than done. Zeva's base. What exactly is your plan to sneak into the Zenith base? We will make use of a lesson I learned from an early age. Always know your exits. In this case, a place where Gerard's new construction meets the ancient foundation. A passage that only I can access. When Silence flings his army at the base, we will enter through this back door. Bypassing most of the fighting. The distraction will provide us with a window in which to rescue Beta. I bet you most of the defensive defenses that she was speaking about that we we're going to avoid, quote unquote, is still probably going to be a gigantic boss fight. <laughs> Beta's location. Once we're inside the base, <clears throat> where will we find Beta and Gaia? Here in the command center. By then, Gaia will have been reunited with all of its subordinate functions, including Hephaestus. What about the alpha build of Apollo on your ship? A simple matter of recovery once the others have been dealt with. With that in hand, we'll have everything we need to make this world as it should be. Okay. Uh, so location, I mean, uh, Silence. How do you know about Silence's plan? He isn't the only one adept at spyware. You hacked his focus? No, he's too careful for that. But his subordinates? <laughs> Not so much. He gave additional focuses to the tribals he branded the Sons of Prometheus. <laughs> By tapping them, I learned about most of his dealings. The distribution of override technology, the arming of Tanakh rebels, and the secret pact with Regala to attack Gerard's base. But how did he come up with a weapon that can take down your shields? That's the one thing I haven't been able to figure out, but however he did it, I'm quite certain it will work. With it and the Tanakh army, victory seems to be within his grasp. Such a shame he'll be disappointed. That's interesting. The Tanakh. Regala is only interested in killing Hakaro and waging war on the Karja. What does she have to gain by attacking Zeniths? It's the price she must pay for her war. Without the ability to override machines, her little rebellion would have languished in the desert. So she trades with the sons of Prometheus machines to help her overthrow Hikaru in exchange for an assault on the base pride has deluded her into thinking she can actually survive such a battle and all without ever knowing who the sons of Prometheus really answer to yet for all of silence's brilliance still he underestimates you that blind spot is what will allow us to take Beta and Gaia right out from under him while hundreds of Tanakh are cut down outside. 
Okay. Elizabeth. Uh, Elizabeth. So you knew Elizabeth. What was she like? Liz was everything she was. I see in you. And me. Your ingenuity, your determination, your moral compass. You've managed to distill her greatest qualities and make them your own. I'm not asking about me. Tell me about Elizabeth. What was she really like? The honest answer is that I don't actually know. For all the time that I spent with her, she always kept a part of herself locked away. It was like that from the moment we met. How did you meet Elizabeth? So when you met Elizabeth, <clears throat> she was what? Distant? Aloof? Not aloof. Not exactly. It was a summit in Paris about machine learning. A touchy subject in those days. Because regulatory authorities were just starting to clamp down on AIs. Liz gave the keynote address. She had already achieved great renown for her work in automated environmental reclamation. But in her address, she was just starting to imagine the next step. An AI-driven system that wouldn't just act on its programming, but actually take responsibility for its sphere of influence. To care about life, not just follow orders. Revolutionary stuff. I was fascinated. And I wanted to meet her for a long time. I watched her after her talk. She had spoken with such moral authority, such empathy. But after that, she retreated. I could tell she felt uncomfortable with all of her admirers. It was as if giving the talk had cost her something. I didn't want to be a pest, so I planned my approach carefully. Okay, your approach to Elizabeth? So how did you finally approach Elizabeth after her talk? I picked the right moment. The morning of the next day, right as she came back to the conference, she had just had her coffee. She was fresh, rested. It was like she had braced herself for the onslaught of colleagues. I asked if I could walk with her, then put forth a question about her talk that I thought was intelligent. Her answer made me realize it wasn't, but she was very welcoming almost as if we were previously acquainted. It was only halfway through the conversation that I realized she knew exactly who I was. It was quite a shock to me. My business was trafficking in secrets and I took great pains to protect my anonymity. So that was Liz, perpetually one step ahead. I came to view our meeting as a metaphor for our friendship. She always seemed to know me far better than I knew her. I guess I know the feeling. Okay, that was uh that was definitely an interesting talk. There must be another way. <clears throat> First Faro. Now Hikaru and the Tanakh. Your plan would wipe out an entire <clears throat> tribe. There has to be another way. We are in an admittedly desperate situation, but I assure you there isn't. Remember Zero Dawn. Elizabeth's sacrifice. Sometimes many have to die for a new world to grow. If it looks impossible. Wait, the data channel. It still exists, doesn't it? I need you to open it. Let me talk to Beta. Impossible, we might be detected. It's worth the risk. There is another way, one where the Tanakh survive. But we won't. If the others- If you want to help, open it. Well, all right then.
That looks weird. What's happening to her? What are they doing to her? Virtual reality dissociation. The manual merge of Hephaestus will take hours upon hours of tedious micromanagement. If she resists the work, they run simulations to induce feelings of isolation and despair. Beta, can you hear me? You're alive. They're watching me. I, I, I can't hold it. This extra projection for long. You should have killed me. No. No, look at me. I'm coming for you. I promise. What is wrong with her hair? I just need you to hold out a little while longer and work on the merch. <laughs> Again, when it's time, can you hold on? As long as I know you're coming for me, I can endure anything. Hey, all right, I did as you asked. Now, I think you need to tell me what you're planning. I'm going to take Silent's army away. I don't need it. Only the weapon he made to penetrate your shields. And how do you propose to get it? Ask him nicely? With Elagala and her rebels, he won't have a choice. We'll be his only option. Only option for what? What did you tell her? That is between me and my sister. Sister? That's the first time she called her that. For crashing that base. I'll tell you the rest later. But first, there are a couple of things I have to do. Oh. And what are those? Lay my friend to rest. And then I'm going to use the override that Beta gave me at Gemini to put an end to Regala's rebellion. From the air. Wait. Since you insist on doing things your way, I know of something that will truly help you make a grand entrance with the Tanakh. What is that? The ancient Horus <coughs> Titans still possess electromagnetic energy cells as part of their arsenal. Drop one of those on Regala's army and they'll receive quite a surprise. So go, do what you must. I'll come to your base if you manage to bring silence to the table. Not if, when. I understand that Aloy doesn't trust her, but I feel like. And are you there? Aloy. I'll get to Aloy, it in a second. Is that really you? Nope. Yeah, it's, it's me. Where's everyone else? We're all. Uh, we're, we're back at base. What happened? It. It might be easier to explain in person. I'll try to join you there when I can. Okay. Uh, we'll wait here for you. It's good to hear your voice, Aloy. Yeah, it's like I understand that she doesn't trust her. But she's been the same way the entire time with everyone, you know? Just to let you know, I'm now patched into your focus network. Great. I take it the other Zenus can't hear us? Of course not. And they don't know about your base either, in case you're wondering. I've sent you data on the Horus energy cells you can use against Regala's forces. Reach out to me when you're ready to acquire one. Understood. Okay. <clears throat> I, I did not mean to get up there. Okay, so what are we going to learn inside the base, I wonder?
I still sucks about Varl. Oh, she, I'm sure, is distraught. When you're wounded, you have to strike back. Draw blood. Hey! Can I get one damn minute to mourn my friend? Regala is going to slaughter my tribe to overthrow Hikaru. The Zeniths have Beta and Gaia. We can't sit around wallowing in our losses. Katalo's right. We must fight. Oh, all right. Yeah, I agree. So what are we gonna do, huh? Take on all of Regala's rebels? Not to mention the Zeniths. What can we even do? Throw ourselves at their base? Something like that. So. Aww. After we lost contact with you, we regrouped and went to Gemini. What happened? The recording we found on Varl's focus cut off when that Zenith Eric... The Zeniths were tracking Hephaestus. When Gaia trapped it in Gemini, they... They knew where we were. After... Varl tried to stop them. They took Beta and Gaia. I only survived because one of the Zeniths turned against the others to save me. One of them? Well... At least we didn't lose you, too. So what do we do now? We're going to defeat the Zeniths. And get Beta and Gaia back. But first... We're going to stop Regala. How? Back in Gemini, Beta gave me... A gift. There's something no, we right need to do first to make it work, but it <coughs> could put an end to the bloodshed. Word is, Regala's readying her army for an all-out assault on the Grove. I need to be there i know go stand with hikaru and keep an eye on the sky oh i like that Spread eye in the sky the, ten. the rest of you whatever preparations you need to make upgrades resupplies get on it it won't be long before we take the fight to the zenith we'll be ready Aloy. and when you're ready Meet me outside the east exit. I'd like to have a word in private. <clears throat> Even when things are darkest, you're the flame that lights the way forward. Just tell me one thing. Am I gonna get to smash up a bunch of Zenith bastards? We all are. Good. I still can't believe Varl's dead. Before I do anything <clears throat> else, I should check on Zoe. It sounded important. Okay. First things first, though, I do want to get to my box, but I can't remember where it's at. Looks like I was able to unlock that door. There's a lot of equipment in here. I wonder what it was all for. Shut up, Aloy. Uh, hey, Aloy. Uh, I let room you're in this for you. And we thought you'd like some space of your own. Thanks, Sarant. I've literally already knew that. But thank you, though. Oh, wait, this is... This is... Okay, screw it. Let's go. I'm done. <clears throat> I wanted to restock. Hey, wait a minute. Was this always here? Oh, I don't think I've been back here. <clears throat> Over here, Aloy. Beautiful location, my wow. What's up, Zo? We would come out here to tend to the garden. Sometimes I needed fresh air, other times we would. Simply sit and watch the sunrise. So I would too. Returned from Gemini. It seemed fitting that he be laid to rest here. Now he can always look out at plain song. And... Further east, to the Nora sacred lands. He would have liked that. 
He often spoke of his sister, Bala. He said she used to gather her favorite golden blooms and tie them to her spear. Their mother called it useless, but Bala was stubborn. Yeah, she seemed like that. It wasn't easy, but I tracked down the flower, gathered its seeds. As verdant blooms wither, roots rot in snow, still the seed rises as certain as stone. From death follows new life. So it is with the land. And so it is with us. I'm with child, Eloy. I was going to tell him when he got back from Gemini. Instead, one day, I'll bring our child here. We'll sit among the blooms. Watch the sunrise. Oh my god. I never <clears throat> to tell him. To thank him. For saving my life, sure, but also. For not giving up on me. He always knew. Goodbye, Farl. I promise to look after them. Oh, Go my God. Try to visit again when I can. For now, I need to go to the fabrication terminal to install the new override on the spear. I'm going to use the sun ring and get ready for an entrance Regala will never forget. Oh, that, um, that, my eyes were starting to feel very watery. How sad. He will never know his child, and his child will never know his father. As a single father who has custody of his kids, that is very depressing. What is this? Override available? Oh. So I got what I needed. Override installed. Now to find a sunway. I think there are some roosting at the top of the mountain. Just you wait, Farrell. Where's my box? Oh wait, I think I see it. No, that's not that's not the box. I wish I could I don't I think I just don't remember what the symbol is for it. Oh wait, there it is right there. Oh god, I'm stuck. There it is. I was in this room once before, too. Let me get resources. I'm gonna take everything I can. That way I could, if need be, I can't take any medicinal berries. Okay, so tools... I'm going to take as much of everything as I possibly can. Medium. I think large is probably the best thing I could do right now. Okay. What about ammo? Can 
Okay, I think I'm good. Cause you know we're gonna meet some opposition whenever we go take out what's her name. <clears throat> it's only a matter of time. Knock knock, coming through, gotta escape. Okay. How far are we going? It's literally Is there there's actually a way up? I was not expecting this. I'm not a hundred percent sure what the proper direction is. But I I mean it seems like I'm going the right way anyway, so would it be faster if I take this thing? No, it's still the same thing. Um, is, that's them, right? So can I. Do I have to sneak up on them? There are some wings up here. We'll have to approach them quietly. Please don't get caught. I should be able to take this guy easily. You're mine, baby. Got it. Do I have to do all three or just one? It says Mount A, Steamwing, Sunwing, whatever. We've mastered the power of flight. Oh, what we are flying. Hold X to fly forward. Oh, I hate these inverted controls. Oh, I hate them so much. There must be a desert clan village. Maybe I should check in on it after I've dealt with Regala. Tilda? Yes, after. I'm in the air. Then you'll want to pick up an energy cell on one of the ancient Horus Titans. But first you must send out a pulse to activate them. I've sent you the necessary software. To deploy it, you'll have to override one of the communication machines you refer to as Tolnex. There's one in the middle of the desert that should I see actually. it. On it. The good thing is that I have a way to fly there. Hopefully I can just need to get on top of its head. I think I could. My question was I hope I could just fly on top of it and just yeah, land on land it. This thing. R1 to ascend. Oh. That was easy. Made it. That was real easy. All done. Okay, Tilda, I've overridden the tall neck. Good, and the energy cells are now primed. Simply pick one up on Ahorus. The nearest one should be northwest of your position. Dropping it on Regala's machine should produce quite a spectacle. Thanks for the assist. I told you, I want to help. Uh. Okay, we're there. So then I could call him. Oh, that's cool. Oh my god, that's cool. Okay, these last couple missions, they've been pretty on point.
Okay, I'm, I'm starting to get used to this whole flying thing. Slowly but surely. Is that where I'm going? To that one thing in the distance? I'm gonna assume it's yes. <clears throat> it's gotta be. It kind of looks like that image that we saw earlier. Hopefully I don't get attacked. There's the energy cell. Titan's back. It's not... Do I just get off here? How do I get off? I have no idea how to get off. Maybe I could just fly over here. Uh, I don't know. How do I get off? I should have crafted all that before. Do I just tap down again? Legit, I have no idea. Is there a way that it tells me? Perhaps? What's this? No, that's a dead wing. I don't see any sun wings. Hmm. I, I don't know how to get off this stupid bird. Or do I just go up here? Is this it? Oh, that's why. Got the cell. Now onto the grove. Let's go. This mechanic should have reactivated all the energy cells in the region. I should be able to pick up more from the horse so I fly to. Oh, it's on like Donkey Kong, baby. This thing flies pretty fast. You know, I'm, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna continue flying forward, but I need to grab some real quick. And a back. Did I pass it? No. Almost, though. Snap. My God. Orgala's inside. Akara will soon be dead. It's all over, Chaplin. I gotta drop it now. Here it goes. The odds are even now. Is that? It's Aloy. She flies on the wings of the ten. The tide has turned. Push through. <laughs> that older lady can fight. End 
of the line, Hakan. Now on your knees, and I'll give you the death you didn't have the spine to give me. They're down! The machines! All of them! They're down! What? How's that possible? Regala! <laughs> Enough bloodshed! Let's settle this. You and me. Easy to say when you're on top of a machine. <laughs> well, that was just to get your attention. I don't need any help to take you down. Fine. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I snap! Accept your challenge. <laughs> and once I'm done with you, I'll get to finish the slaughter. We'll see about that. The duel is set. Let none interfere. The sad thing is that I think she could have been reached by simply being by her side and talking to her frequently. And it looks like we're gonna have to kill her. Oh, 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 oh! That. No, time out! Time out! Where the hell's my stuff? Oh, wait, I have to go up. What am I doing? That was 100% my fault. I was looking at the wrong thing. Also, I was also on the wrong ammunition. Get away from me! God, dude, she is good! Ah! Oh, that was bad. I don't think traps are gonna work. God, this girl is fucking... She is ridiculous! I got an idea. If I just start immediately... Let's see if it works. It didn't. It didn't. Come on, baby. If you want my blood. God. Your blade is blood. Your courage rusted. Your body weak. God. Ah. She hits so hard! Oh my god. Straight up Dark Souls with this girl. Ah! Yes! Slow down! Oh god. Why is she so strong? How did that not hit her? That's some BS. That is some BS. That worked. I can't believe that worked. Round two? Uh, it's not a... Play or fight? 
Give it to me. Where is she? You bring nothing but shame to the My God, dude, she hit so damn hard. So hard. You know what? I need this bad boy. If I survive, that is. Get in there. Why can't I go up there? I want to go up there. I was not expecting that to actually hit me. I'm out. Get down. Crap. <sighs> this is ridiculous. Please don't make me have to do everything all over again. It is. Come on. Would you fucking relax? I don't even have enough time to aim at her. How does that not actually hit her? Oh, come on! Of course. I can do this. All right, so that's I'll how it's gonna be. I'm so nervous. Come the hell on. Your courage rusted, your body weak. <laughs> the way she sounds when you hit her. <laughs> what the hell is this? I need to break that mask. <laughs> I hate that sound so much. Oh! Strike and strike hard. Come on. Oh, I'm in the middle of the damn thing. Oh. Hey, at least I get this again. I tried to dodge out of the way. Oh, this is going to be bad. So that's how it's gonna be. I'd hope to fight a legend. You're nothing but a tail for children. Here 
is no. Where is she? Oh. Come on, peek. What are you doing? Crap, I missed. Is this how you give up your life? Yes. If I just hide down here, will that work? Probably not. <laughs> God, I hate that so much. For being like this strong girl. Oh! Fuck! Ah! Would you relax a fucking minute? Where the hell's my potions? Oh my god. Alright, so that's how it's gonna be. The Nora cry tears of salt when they shall shed rivers of blood. I hate how slow it is sometimes. That was ridiculous. This is not a good fight. This is stupid. This is the first time I've said this, All by right. the way. So that's how it's gonna be. Wash your filth from the land. She's about to fire. Some very painful ones. Come on, baby. Is your heart beating fast? I wonder if she she hurt herself. Oh. What's going on? Ah! Time out. <laughs> that does work. Please just stay there. Crap. Let's go. Break that damn mask already. I did not realize she was going to be able to get me from that angle. I stand corrected. Strike. That mask is impenetrable. It's starting to become a little hard to see. Oh god, I missed. How did that hit? Not hit. Oh! 
Oh. That was low key terrifying. Okay, come on, baby, let's go. Bam! Yeah, that was a miss. That was a miss. <laughs> what? You bring nothing but shame to your Oh, get the hell out of here. Did we just... Wait, what happened? Oh, finally! I'd rather fight her from up close. This is where it ends. Yeah, it is. Final fight. Get away from me. I will carve my story into you. No. Time out, okay? Time out. Time out. Come and get me. Is it Why doesn't she get electrified? No! no! Oh! Oh God, stay away from me, please. You die here and now. Whoa, duh. I'll tear that braided head oh God. from your mouth. I waited for the battle that would prove me. It seems I must oh. I mean, that's working. It's definitely working. If I'm able to put down one more bomb... Oh, shit. Oh! If I was able to hit her with one more bomb, I think I could have got her. I think this is it. She's definitely a lot easier up close. Let's go ahead and skip this. Come to me. No. This is a horrible spot. Come on. Perfect. Horrible spot, but I managed to get it, so. Come and get me, baby girl. I need to get to a better location. Now. Come on, come on, girl. I will rise above. Come and get me. Just don't blow my stuff up, please. Or kill me.
I'm not gonna be able to get her. I think I gotta bait her to fight me up close. Let's try this again. I think I could bait her. Oh, crap. <laughs> that one trap is what really screwed me up. So, lesson learned. If I get too far, she turns into an all bow. I did it again. Well, I managed to get her, so. Horrible! Prove yourself worthy! This was horrible. I need to start over. Yeah, I needed to start over. I messed that up right from the beginning. Come to me. Ready? Nope. I have to start over again. Come on. Come to me. I'll come to you when you're dead. How about that? No. I gotta get closer. Run away! Where's my trap? What a dumbass! My story will be carved into your bones! Oh! Time out. Is this how you give up your life? Yes. I gotta get close to her. I'd hope to fight a legend. You're nothing but a tale for children. Come on, girl. That didn't kill her! Alright, hold on. This might be it! No, it's not! Finally! I'm so glad I blew her ass up. Here I am again, on my knees before bootlets and cowards. Go ahead, run me through. Shut your mouth, <laughs> traitor.
It was you who flew in on the wings of the Ten. You who challenged her by our rights. You must decide her fate. I spared her once. It only made things worse. She was the best of my marshals. What a waste. She's dangerous, all right. But maybe that's exactly what I need. Cowards! What more do you have to conspire about? Maybe we can Whether use her against or die. the Zeniths. There's another battle ahead. I think we can use her against the Zeniths. I just don't want to use this and then it backfires on me later. But I, I'm curious. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for this. Usually the heart ends up being a good thing anyway, so yeah, there's another battle ahead. I'm not here to forgive you for your crimes. But there's another battle ahead. Against an enemy more powerful than anything you can imagine. Aliens. And I need people. A squad that's willing to do whatever it takes. I don't want your mercy. It's not mercy. The battle I'm talking about will be charging into a nightmare. A better death than this? Yes. My blood is yours. Your enemies are mine. Meet us at our stronghold. Nice! In the mountains near Plainsong. You mean to send her alone? Without even an armed guard? She does not need it. I will be there. You have my word. I'll hold you to it. I think we did the right thing. I, I hope we did the right thing. Chief, there's something you both need to see. In the throne room. Guy. He surrendered to our guards outside the grove. Claims he has an urgent message for the outlander who defeated Regala. So, state it. It's for her alone. From an interested party. Silence, maybe? It has to be, because we took away his army. I'm gonna need some privacy. Clear the room. Put him with the rest of Regala's soldiers. I'll see you back at base. You saved the tribe. Let me help you with your mission. No. Regala gone, you have a chance to build the future you dreamed of. So get to your task. Then at least allow me to give you this. Armor for the battle ahead. Hey! Keep you safe. Thank you. No. Oh, it's a pleasure to see you too, Silence. Congratulations on your victory. You saved the Tanakh for a few weeks. Unfortunately, you doomed the entire planet as well. Wrong. I don't need a Tanakh army to defeat the Zenas. Oh, Eloy. Have you learned nothing about the enemy we were up against? More no. than you, hiding <laughs> whatever hole you found. My idea is just better than anything you ever came up with. No, not here. We're doing this my way. Face to face, 
and with the weapon you've developed. And why would I agree to that? Because I'm your only way of beating the Zeniths and getting the copy of Apollo that's on their ship. It's working. So meet me at my base. Mountains west of Plainsong. Time to submit to the inevitable silence and follow the person who actually knows what she's doing. Don't be late. Nice! Tilda, Completed Wings of the Ten. I did it. Silence is on board. So head to my base. Impressive. I'll be there as soon as I can. Now that I could... Oh, I wanted to hear that, but... Well, since we're already in here, let's go ahead and level up since we have 11. Oh, we still got a lot to level up. Okay. Let's go ahead and maximize whatever we can over here. That leaves me with one left over. It's okay. What's the quest? I see what else I can do before I head back. No. I'm going to... It says return to base, I think. So, let's go ahead... Whoops, that's not what I wanted. What? I can't... I probably have to go outside. Wait. Also, I got a new piece of armor that I want to check out. So that's a... It's gonna happen. How do I... I... You know what's funny? I still... Let me see. I still haven't even done, messed with any of these weaves. <clears throat> okay. All defense increases your defense against damage from all sources. That's hands down. Uh, fire and frost defense, plasma defense, range defense. I think I'm going to go for ranged No. All defense. How do I edit the second weave, though? Oh, it's locked? Do I have to upgrade it, maybe? I don't know. For now, let's go ahead and head out. Oh my god, dude, she looks so cool. So, I don't even have any medicinal stuff ready either. Alright, now that I'm outside, I should hopefully be able to just fast travel there? Yes, okay, I was right. That's good. Singularity is the name of this quest. Sounds pretty cryptic. I wonder... How many more missions we have left? It's definitely- it's- if it's not the last mission, it's probably among the last. But it definitely feels like we're there, you know? Okay. While I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and restock too, because restocking on that last mission came in clutch. <laughs> hey, uh, Mr. Know-it-all is here. You know, your focus buddy who never smiles. I didn't know what to do with him, so I had him wait in your room. Got it. Thanks. Well, Silence, looks like you finally found a door you could open without me. <laughs> I'm glad it's there, actually. It kept me from having to mingle with the company you keep. But enough prattle. I believe you owe me an explanation. Your plans for the Zenith base. You're right. I do owe you. My spear in your throat for deceiving me again. At the Hades Proving Lab. I doubt you asked me here for that kind of reckoning. No. Right now, I need your help. So I'm giving you one final chance. 
But if you ever betray me again, I will kill you no matter what the circumstance. Understood? Very well. Though we'll both face a decidedly short future if you can't get us inside that base. Aloy, your other guest is here. She's, um, coming to you. Thanks. Good timing. Other the guests? Truth is, I can Tilda? actually get us into the base. But she can't. I thought so. The company you keep is even worse than I thought. Not a fan of surprises, are you? Oh, look. That must be your little invention. Does the weapon work? Without self-destructing? Of course it does. I've eliminated the imperfections and greatly improved its design and output. How can we be sure? Care for a demonstration. I mean, that's Enough. the only way to be sure. You. Just saying. This together, at least for now. Go talk to Erend. Tell him I said to give you rooms of your own. I'll come see you when I get a chance. He made it to a backpack. Oh no, you first. They really hate each other. That's funny. Interesting groups of group of company we have here. Okay. In the control room, so Tilda can tell us what she knows about the Zenith base. First things first. Whoops. No. Get in here. Let me go ahead and do this. Wait. Yes. Fill that up and then come back in here and then take the rest. Which was just one. I need to take as much of everything as I humanly possible. Especially these explosives, for real. These things come in clutch. Okay. Well, we're golden. Oh, this is going to be interesting for sure. Wait, hold on. This is where what's-her-name-was, Gaia. Right? Why are we coming in here? Yeah, this is where Gaia was. Maybe it's time to get everyone together so Tilda can brief us. Is oh. There anything I should handle before that? This is the final mission, guys. Has to be. All right, people. I need <coughs> you up in the control room right away. Okay, everyone. We all know what's at stake. I want steak. Gaia. Gaia. Not to mention life on Earth. Now, it might seem like the Zeniths are invincible, but they're not. We've got what it takes to break into their base and defeat them. We even have one of them on our side. Tilda, show us the base. It is constructed atop the ruins of an ancient military facility on an island to the southwest. I can get us inside. To this location. Undetected. How exactly? You'll know when you need to. Once inside, our goal will be this structure. The launch tower. Gaia and Beta are being held at the top. But along the way, we will face overwhelming resistance. Most importantly, from Gerard, Eric, and the others. But also... Once I take away their shields, we should be able to deal with them. But it will be easier to deploy the device if someone else is carrying it. I'll need a strong back. Carry stuff? Yeah, I can do that. Even if your device works, there will still be Spectre drones scores of them. If only we had an army to fight them. I've got that under control. You'll know when you need to. All right. We'll meet up again just before we go in. Where's the best place to rendezvous? On the coast, just across from the island. 
Once there, I'll show you the way. Okay. I'll let you know when I arrive at the rendezvous point. And then you can join me. In the meantime, do whatever you need to prepare. Understood? It's definitely on. You too? A minute? I bet she's gonna take longer than a minute. Tilda helped me get in touch with Beta, and she told me something important. There's an installation inside the base. It's called a regulator. Here. Once we're inside, I need you two to split off from everyone else and destroy it. So you'll have to bring explosives. This will help stop the drones. Everything depends on it. You with me? Of course they are. After that, I want you to find a way to <clears throat> infiltrate the Zenith network. How? Go over all the data that Beta left behind. She knew how to do it, I'm sure of that. All right. But why? Uh, what am I trying to do? Find information about the Zeniths. Anything Tilda's not telling us. Silence is right about one thing. There's no way we can take her on her word. I'll do my best. Keep her safe, okay? On my life. So, I have a feeling that the ending is going to be somewhat tragic. Like, we're going to lose some more people. Oh okay. my god, this is getting close. Almost time to go after Beta and Gaia. Might be good to check up on everyone first. I kind of really do want to talk to everybody. But at the same time, I do want to just jump into the quest. Yep, okay. It's it's just telling me. One second. Okay. We're definitely here, man. I'm so excited. Go to the rendezvous point? How far is- Oh my god, Becky. Does this place... I wonder how much snow is gonna pile up. I mean, one way to find out. Hopefully I can fast travel somewhere. Without having to run 3,000 meters away. You. Well, let's quick save while we're here. Uh, fast travel for free. I mean, there's a there's quite a bit of places that we could go to. Can we fast travel here? Yes, we can. Perfect. That is the closest place we could go. Because we haven't discovered any other location, so... I think we're golden here. <clears throat> I don't even remember this place. Dude, we cut it... We cut the travel time by a third. Uh, by two thirds, I mean. This makes it a lot easier. I just wish that there was a lot of locations that I could just jump off so I could glide my way there. Because gliding, I feel, is a lot faster. Okay. Every chance I get... I'm gonna glide. <laughs> I don't really need these because I've already... Whoops. I've already, uh... Stocked up, but... Still. That was my bad. It's okay, though. We're still making good time. Especially thanks to that one fast travel. And we're already 800 meters away. Or footsteps, according to this. Let me see, what would be the fastest way there? Would I be able to reach if I just... 
glide? I hope so. Barely. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. We fought one boss fight, I guess, with, uh, what's her name? I can never remember her name for some reason. And then, I'm, I'm sure there's a final, final boss. Most likely a giant robot or something, I don't know. That's what makes most sense to me. Well, we're probably gonna fight a giant robot, and we're probably gonna have to fight the, um, the Zeniths. Unless the Zeniths fight is... Cinematic in nature, which is, I guess, possible, but... Marshals. Wounded hunter. How do... Maybe they need help. Let me see if I can... Was that a quest? Uh... Oh, this way? <clears throat> this trail is really falling apart. Oh god, dude, I really thought I missed. Uh, well, first things first. What's in here? Throw me a bone here. A metal one. So glad I found that. They just had to make this complicated, didn't they? No, get- what are you doing? There we go. I wonder if I even had- I wonder if I even had to go this way. I'm fairly confident I kind of messed it up. And I chose the path of most resistance. But hey, whatever. It is what it is. We're still... 500 something meters away. That's not what I want. Huh. What's the point of this place? Um... So I definitely have to go around. Don't hit the tree and fall to your death, Aloy. Or that stone. I have to just basically follow that road. It's this one, right? Yeah, if I follow this road, I should be... I should be solid. Is that the quest with the marshal? Did I mess this up? I hope not. It is, isn't it? Let me see. Yeah, it was. No. I got places to be, sweetheart. I'm sorry. How did I get up there before? Oh. That's not the way I went up there before, but... Oh yeah, I went through the bridge. But I found a better way up. Nice. Very nice. This actually was a faster way. A lot faster way. Dude, I almost screwed that up royally. So that means... There is potentially another way I mi I failed. Okay, I didn't go this way. So it's gotta be it, right? Also, there is a box. Nothing important. But I'll take it. Nonetheless. Saw that. <clears throat> So I think I found the way, actually. Yeah, this is definitely the way. So, 
I was on the right track last time. I just ended up making a wrong turn, apparently. Aloy, it's Gotalo. Thought this might Hi. interest you. Three of our soldiers have gone missing in the Valley of the Fallen. The whole area's crawling with machines. And there have been reports of glowing lights off the coast. Huh? Marshal Ivira should be at the Valley's entrance. She might need your help. Thanks. I'll look into it when I can. I think I saw Ivira and another Tanakh at the Valley entrance. Maybe I should head back to them. Mm, nah. <laughs> I want to stay on the main quest. Let me make sure I'm still on the main quest. Yes. Great. More climbing. Of course. Like always. I mean, they're all being sent to my stash because I ended up refueling, but it's okay. I'd rather, I'd rather be stocked up at home just in case. There's probably another mission too. I don't know. At this point, I'm just taking guesses because I really don't know how long this game was, uh, is. And we're definitely getting closer to our objective, but this place is far. I can't even imagine. Imagine if we had to run from base all the way over here because we didn't have a close enough checkpoint. That would have been horrible. That's the Zenith base? Oh, that's the Zenith base. Oh, they... They built that place up. So are we going to take a boat? Is that what's going to happen? Don't hit anything, Aloy. Haven't we been here before? Probably not. Dude, one glide got us like 300 meters. That was epic. Epic games for real. Hey, we got a... Oh, that's the... That's where I'm supposed to be. At the campfire, right? Point. Call companions. Take care of everything I can before calling in the others to attack the Zenith base. If you proceed past this point, you will be locked into Singularity and the open world will be unavailable for the duration of this quest. Yep, final quest, guys. Call your companions, no way back. Okay, everyone. I'm at the rendezvous point. It's time to rescue Beta and Gaia. Understood, Aloy. We're on our way. Aloy. Where are the others? Not far behind. <laughs> Egghead here couldn't stand traveling with the pack. Are we all here? Then let's begin. A tunnel. An ancient escape route from the ruins on the island. When I realized it ran all the way across the water, I, I thought it might prove useful to come and go undetected. So I concealed it from the others. She's starting to seem shady to me. Shall we? She's starting to sound a little shady to me. I wish there was a less pungent way to get way inside the base. Agreed. <laughs> well, we made it. She has been helpful, though, I will say that. Tower. That plane offers a little cover, so the only viable path is through there. 
There will be specters guarding it, and many more can be deployed from those hangars. All right. Alva, Catalo, get to it. Where are they going? Somewhere important. I think Aloy suspects it too. Aaron, you're with me. You guys, take the high ground in case we need covering fire. Tactically sound, I suppose. What will she do? <laughs> There's a sensor node nearby. If I hack into it, I should be able to scramble the network and keep you undetected. But not for long. Then we should proceed. One more thing. So she's going by herself? Open up the channel to beta. Audio only. Aloy. We're here. And we're coming for you. You know what to do, right? As long as you hold up your end. We will. See you soon. Be careful. Let's go. Tilda's not happy either. Something's hap something's gonna happen soon. Get to the launch tower as quickly as possible. I'll do my best to conceal our intrusion. I'm gonna take advantage and loot everything Company. I can in the Follow my lead. That's what process. I do. Oh, machine's on ah, to me. Fight for time. It's not fear, but it'll do. Can I just run? I don't want to fight it. Oh god. Maybe I'm going to have to fight it. It would be helpful if I knew where I was going. What's in this backpack, metal bricks? Aloy, Alva and I are closing in on the regulator. Can you post it? Oh, I did not mean to... Okay, thank God it was just water. How do I get up? Actually, how do I get out of here? Period. Did I screw this up? Oh, okay, there's... There's a way up here. Actually, I think this wasn't the proper direction. Because otherwise, there would have been a way out from here, right? It's creepy in here. Don't oh. worry. I'll protect you. I wish I had a glider. So, how is he going to come over here? Way Can we please leave the cave now? I'm trying. Hold your horses. <clears throat> Machines on this island. We killed a great many when we landed here. Their salvage may prove useful to you now. Another specter. Sneak or fight. You choose. I'm gonna try to sneak. But first, I need to do a little loo looting. Oh god. Go away. Please go away. Okay, we lost his interest. Anytime you're ready. I just don't know where I'm supposed to go. This way? Maybe? Hey, you okay? Yeah. I'll find a way back up. So that's not that's not the way. Hmm. Let me look at the map. Or actually maybe. There's probably a separate way to get there. You down? 
Okay, I was incorrect. But I think I saw the way to go. I really hate the climbing in this game. How everything looks like you can climb it, but in reality it's only a very tiny amount of places you can climb. Oh god, run away. Tired yet? Yep. Um I think I'm going the right way though. I think we got through without being seen. Yeah. Clear those weeds. Might as well since I'm here. With who? Hey, we did it. I was supposed to do that apparently. We can take this one, Aloy. Keep moving. Will do. That Stormbird carcass should get us over the gap. I, I thought so. Stormbirds. But I guess, uh, yeah, no! I You've got to be kidding me. I jumped. I'm okay. I'll climb back up. That's on BS. Uh, where'd you go? Just need to climb back up. That explains this valley. I'm just gonna sprint. Come on, baby, let's go. <clears throat> the good thing is that I know where to go now. Alright, we're back to square one, but... I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if I fall again. There we go. Woo! Hey, you remember the good old days when our only worry was whether Meridian would be destroyed? <laughs> Where our only the worry? The whole world. Oh, yeah. Good times. I mean, that feels like it was just yesterday at this point. Uh, <gasps> more specters. I'll attack when you... Oh my god. Um I think There's something gold over there. I think I saw something gold over there on that giant robot. I do want to check it out, but... Oh god. I'll follow you in. Shut up, Aaron. I think that's the way, but... Yeah, there is something gold over there. Oh, fuck. That was a mistake. How come I can't loot this thing? Oh, it's this thing. Oh, my God. Maybe... Maybe running was a better option. I think that was a better option. What do you guys think? Oh my god. Where the hell am I going? Don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Especially while I'm looting. Oh, up. 
Do I have to go around this way? I can see yes. the way forward. Keep moving. Go as fast as we can. Hey, watch this. You all right? Idiot meets sort of. <laughs> Idiot meets sort of. See, in this situation, I think it would have been it would have been faster and safer to just go on the top and then go over. Is there more of them here? Looks like the others have things under control. It's on to me. Oh crap! How many spectres did the Zenith have? Well, then we want to fight at once. That's for sure. Oh, you want to fight the Vanguard? Where do I go? I'm not 100. Oh, it's right behind him. Hey, look. Do it. Climb. Regulator. A moment while I ignite the charge. We did it. Alva and Catalo did their job. Now it's Beta's turn. Uh, Aloy. I Let me guess. Oh, I know. My God. I'm not doing anything. Beta will. She just needs a little time. Time that we don't have. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh God. What is that? Oh, she got an army? She got an army! Our army. I think you got their attention. Very clever. You had Beta inject Hephaestus into the base's printer matrix. Which is faster and more powerful than any cauldron. Now we can crank out machines to its heart's content. Nice. It's working, it seems. Still dangerous for us, though. Let's get to the launch tower before this whole place becomes a war zone. It already is, sweetheart. <clears throat> Your maneuver, as clever as it is, means that Hephaestus has escaped containment. It will no doubt flee back to the core network. We grabbed it once, we'll get it again. Or we'll find a way to replicate its functionality, perhaps. With the Apollo database. Good. Can I just climb up here? There we go. Ooh, purple. That a uh, big rock might give us a bridge to get up and through. Gotcha. I see. Oh wait. I want. I also want. <clears throat> Not all the specters are fighting our machines. Ah, oh, they had to made it nice and easy. Hopefully that freaking robot down there doesn't see us, or that specter, as they call it. It probably will. No, it's not. I don't think they saw us. Good. Dude, there's so much right, stuff here. To the right. To the right of what? Oh, this way. Good looking. Left. Dude, this battle's gonna be intense if it's you giving me so much stuff. Through the hangar up ahead. I'm heading over to join you now. The hangar's in bad shape, but I can see the way in. Hurry, Aloy. Oh crap. It's gonna force us to fight. By the blood of the ten. Okay. Oh! Can you hit this thing with acid? I'm not taking this one. 
I should have just ran. I don't know why I did that. I hope it auto saved, like right there. It did. Thank God. And now to the left. I'm running. You can get to the launch tower through the hangar up ahead. I'm heading over to join you now. The hangar's in bad shape, but I can see the way in. Hurry, Aloy. Will do. Let me just grab this. By the blood of the ten! Hey, that's... Uh, let's get into this. That's what's her name? Oh, shit! Goodbye. This way. Aaron, come to me, buddy. Come to me. So she did help us. Haha. -ha. I made it. We made it. Oh, that was... Oh, yeah, it is all of us. <clears throat> come on, let's go. <gasps> oh, she's gonna die. This way, demon. Ah! Oh, she's gonna die for real. This is the death I was promised. Go! Well, there's no choice now. We don't have a choice but to go. Are we dead? Nope. May Regala return peacefully to the cycle. Please. She cared nothing for peace. At least she died on her own terms. That was her plans. Aloy. This is true. It's been intense. But Catalo got me to a network node. I'm trying to get in. Keep at it. We're almost to the tower. Oh, dude, this has got to be it. But I will say this this final mission isn't as intense as I thought it was going to be. At least not yet. Ah, now we know who's been causing all the fuss. Oh, snap. Tilda's little pet. That's not good. Zenith inbound. Can we drop their shields, please? I'm powering it up. Stay it's broken. Still. This is pointless. You can't hurt us. Face it. You're worms that ooze through the cracks into our basement. Silence. One moment more. But I might just spare you if you give up Tilda. I think it's safe to say she's forfeited her share of our <coughs> operation. Permanently. Uh, there. No. Nothing. Fine. All right, people. Light them up! My god. You better hurry up, Silence. Are we supposed to be scared? <laughs> you should be. escape it won't take long before he preps the shuttle for launch then he'll be able to take beta and gaia into orbit and onto the odyssey beyond our reach uh oh spaghettios i fail to see another option then we'll carve a path ready or i could just run straight through like i have been Oh, 
Or it could just be a cut screen. Get to the top and secure Gaia. I'll stop Gerard. Top of the what? The, the tower? Or the shuttle, maybe? I don't know. Go to the launch tower. I gotta get to the top of the tower. Top of the tower. And free beta. Hey, like, Oh no. Apologies for that. We're okay. As long as all the hurries. I'm almost into the network. Just do the best you can. I'm full on meds. Okay, an elevator. Promising. Does this take me straight to the top? Oh! What's this guy's name? Again? Wait, why are we going down? Oh, Eric. That's right. We're gonna have to fight him. Right now. It's on like Donkey Kong, baby. And he has no shields either. I don't need a shield to take you out. Trust me. You're gonna wish you had one. Oh god. Oh! Oh! He doesn't seem to hit very hard. Honestly, traps. Come here. I'm stuck. <laughs> I got stuck on the wall for a second, and that kind of messed me up a little bit. By a little bit, I mean a lot. Uh, it's not the same as being real. Hey, that worked. Oh no! That's not... How the hell did I end up with that? Can you like relax? There we go. Come here. Ow, ow. But all good things must come Did it hit him? I gotta stay no. Open. You're done for. Oh no. That was a waste. So I will say this, he's strong. I hate this guy. I'm dead. This is the end for you. Come out, buddy. Come this way, please. Time to shut you up. 
The good thing is that he doesn't hit very hard. No! What is he doing? There we go. Come on, everybody. Ah! God, I hate this guy. Come on! Don't hit me, please. I mean, I'm doing okay, I guess. Not as good as I wish I was, though. Never mind. Oh no! Oh god. Come closer. That didn't work. For real. I have a bit. I have a suspicion that it will hurt. I just shot him in the ass, by the way. Dodge, damn it. It's a pretty unfortunate spot. on her way to hell. Come on. I might as well take this opportunity to craft Would you just chill out for a second? Oh! oh god, I... That had to hit him, come on. He is fast. Let's go, oh god. Oh, what? I have to hide here. Hey, wait, what's this? This is actually a pretty good spot. Yeah, I knew he was gonna jump up here. Where'd he go? 
Oh, I could go even higher. Where is he? Found you. Break you He's girl. almost down. I shot him in the toe, by the way. Now in the nuts. Good luck having babies, bastard. I think he's bugged, actually. Look at him. Just standing there while I shoot him in the nads. I wish I could bring you with me. I don't think you have anything to offer me there, bud. Look at that, he's bugged. And I'm okay with it. Dude must have nads of steel though, because one of those would have offed me. Just a little more. These aren't training guns. Ah! Oh, come on. I won. No more nads for you, bud. I almost forgot what it was like to hurt. <laughs> How does that feel, buddy? Now we're having fun, right? Nice. So we so we beat the game. Right? You okay? I will be. In time. I have Go. no heals, Rescue by the sister. way. I'll regroup with the others and make sure they're all right. I have no heals, no explosives, I got nothing. So if something's waiting for me, I'm screwed. It's probably Tilda, to be honest. She's probably the final boss. What was that? Aloy, Gerard just activated the self-destruct failsafe on the printing matrix. He's taking control of a number of systems. Including a lift? I'm afraid so. He's restricted its access to the top. You'll have to climb from there. I have to Figured. go. Figured. Go! God damn it. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know, maybe it's not Tilda. Like, she might be shady, but she has been helping us. But if it's not her, then who? Baron, is everyone all right down there? Uh, mostly. We cleared up. Round two, I guess. <laughs> that was horrible. Hey, I got one now instead of zero. Better than nothing. <gasps> there was one right there. I could have just taken that one. I should have. I should have looked around, man. If I die again. Looks like the machines and specters have almost wiped each other out. What was that? Okay. Aloy, Gerard just activated the self-destruct failsafe on the printing matrix. He's taking control of a number of systems. Including the lift? I'm afraid so. He's restricted its access to the top. You'll have to climb from there. I have to go. I almost that's, have. That's the second time I missed who she was talking about. I gotta look around, otherwise I'm gonna die again. Oh! Oh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted this. How's it not working? There we go. I might as well do this. Be careful, Aloy. Parent? Is everyone all right down there? Nope. Uh, mostly. We're cleaning up the last few spectres. What about the Zeniths? Dead, I think. Izo told me you got Eric. Good work. Yeah. Thanks. I guess only Tilda and Gerard are left then. Aloy, you there? Listen, I got into the network, but only for a minute before I was shut out. I found a bunch of flight plans and trajectories, as if the Zeniths were planning to leave Earth. Doesn't make any sense. I know, but there's more. The files I found have a lot of references to something called Nemesis. Whatever it is, the Zeniths are afraid of it. Alba? Hmm? Alba! What's going on here? Maybe that... her can help me figure it out. If she's okay. 
That is very interesting. Oh, right there. That is weird. She called it Nemesis? Is that what she said? And the Zeniths are scared of it? I wonder what it is. Please let there be some more medicinal stuff. I need medicinal, man. Up the stairs, perhaps? My god, I really thought I fell. Any medicinals? Ooh, but bombs, and I definitely need those bombs. Because you can't say bomb on an airplane. End of the line, baby. <clears throat> Those doors are awesome. What is this place? Beta. AKA Aloy 2.0. Are you okay? She has a long Look, neck. I know you've been through a lot, but you have to help me access the Zenith network. I need to see their files. Anything referring to the word Nemesis. Okay. O over there. The systems are down all over the base. I should be able to take advantage of... Yes, Nemesis. Here. There's something in deep space. It's following the Zeniths to Earth. Look. Escape vectors. Alva tried to warn me about this. The Zeniths aren't planning to stay here. It's a machine of some kind. Or, or a swarm of them. The energy readings are astronomical. Aloy, hey, I don't think a natural disaster destroyed the Zenith colony on Sirius. This thing did. Earth isn't a new home for them. It's a way station. Damn! What the hell happened to him? Whoa! Scared the hell out of me. What? Maybe she definitely is on our side. I see you've been busy. And you've been lying. Nemesis, what is it? It is us. The minds of Far Zenith. Or failed copies of them. Anyway. She's bad. Back on Sirius, some of my peers weren't satisfied with physical immortality. They wanted digital transcendence. A way to upload their minds into any form, organic or mechanical. Nemesis was a failed experiment to that effect. Abandoned, but never erased. An immense database of our memories, emotions, and prejudices left to fester. And it destroyed your colony? We didn't realize it gained sentience until it broke containment. It had everything it needed from our memories. Security protocols, system specs, override codes. It hacked everything before we knew what hit us. Then it took over our printing facilities, allowing it to gain any machine form it needed to wipe us out. But why? Imagine being trapped alone for decades with only the twisted echoes of megalomaniacs for company. 
It hates us for abandoning it to that prison. And now that it's free, it will do anything to destroy us, including denying us a safe harbor on Earth. The extinction signal that woke Hades. You didn't send it. Nemesis did. Finally, you understand. Damn. And when that failed, it launched from Sirius to finish the job itself. Which is why we must flee to a random planet circling a random star somewhere it can never find us. With Gaia, so you can build yourself a new world. That's the plan. Even now. Earth is finished, Aloy. Nemesis will scour it of life to deny its creators a viable home. But Elizabeth's dream won't die. You'll come with me to the stars. And with Gaia, we'll create a new world. Together. Where that monstrosity could never find us. What? No. I loved Elizabeth. More than you could ever know. And I let her stay behind to die with the rest of humanity. A mistake I have regretted for a thousand years. Now she stands before me again. Twice. Not some inferior copy. But her best possible self. <clears throat> I'm not asking. You're coming with me. It may seem harsh now, but you'll forgive me in a few centuries. You can't force We're gonna me have to fight her. Your shield is gone. I have something better. Spectre Prime, to me. The hell is Spectre Prime? Take cover! Get to the door! Holy crap. Um sticks and stones against the lightning. Let me stand that thing first. Ah! I did a little bit of damage. I can throw all that armor before I can do some damage. I don't have anything. Get no out of the way. Oh, okay, hold on. I need to craft a little bit of everything. We cannot hide on this world. We must flee to another. I can target its gold plating. I will eventually. This specter was designed to survive against more than oh! one. Oh! Did I miss? How did he hit me? Okay, so that did hit him. No! What is he doing? I gotta hit those gold plates. It's hard to see the damn gold plates. Come on, I juke that. Why 
do you not value your life? Stay still. You thought this would be easy? No. Oh, that thing's fast. I should aim for the cold plate. I know this, Aloy. Let's go. Both plates are vulnerable to elemental ammo. Sticks and stones against the lightning. Come on. It's powering up. Holy it's crap, I got up, lucky. Tilda. Give me this! Let's go. This has to be good for something, right? I knew you didn't truly want to hurt me. Elemental ammo is making a dent in those gold plates. You're not gonna beat me! Come on. I can endure. You cannot. I'm gonna take advantage of this real quick. Come on, let's go. I do like no damage. I missed one. I knew you didn't truly want to hurt me. It's right for me. Dead. Finally. That took forever. It's over. Lord, could you just let me choose? 
My god, that took forever. Is she in there? Yes, she is. Is she dead? I hope she is. She tried to take you. And she told you about Nemesis. So you've known all along. From Hades, yes. Along with data on how to circumvent the Zenith's shields. Everything I did to create the Rebel Army was based on that knowledge. To reach this place, this moment. And you couldn't just tell me? Come now, Aloy. You're the last person to act sensibly in the face of impossible odds. When I learned of Nemesis from Hades, I saw the pieces on the board and how to play them. And in that same moment, I knew it was a game you would never play. That you would interfere and attempt to save the Tanakht. I was correct, to a point. You ruined my plans, but brought your own to fruition. The end result is the same. We're here. And now it's time for me to leave this doomed planet behind. To seize the Odyssey and the Apollo database. And begin a new chapter in my pursuit of knowledge. One with infinite possibilities. You can join me if you so desire. You've more than earned your place. Unlike Tilda, I'm extending a polite invitation. You're going to just take off? And abandon everything? Stay. Help me fight that thing. Perhaps Tilda didn't adequately define the threat. Nemesis can't be stopped. It destroyed a highly advanced Zenith colony in a matter of hours. What hope does this primitive tribal Earth have? If you brought Gaia, you wouldn't be abandoning life. You'd be saving a seed for a new world. Just as Elizabeth did. It's the choice she made. The sacrifice of all that is for the hope of what might be. If she were here in your place, she would board that shuttle, Aloy. Found her. Is she hurt? Still on her feet. Thank the turn. Goodbye, Silence. The thing about it is that she isn't, Elizabeth. Wow. She looks okay. She looks victorious. As always. Eloy. You did it. He's not going to leave, is he? Hey, where's he going? As far away as anyone can go. Oh. <laughs> Are you sure? You're staying. For a time. You people are going to need all the help you can get. Does anyone else need a drink? Not if it's that ale of yours. Uh, uh, I'd be fine with a nap. Excellent idea. Uh, I hope it's really over this time. Nope. Got a long way to go there, bud. There's another battle ahead, Elizabeth.
very different than the one you fought. It's not about the distant hope of creating a new world. It's about preserving the one we have. My friends have a new mission. To spread the word and ask for help. They've taken it in stride. I think it's because they've always known what I've only just started to understand. That the people of this world have the strength to fight any battle. The ingenuity to solve any problem. Good. It's a good lesson. That's it. Alright guys, so that's gonna go ahead and do it for this video and this series. I gotta say, right off the bat, this game was fantastic. Was it better than the previous one, personally speaking? I don't think so. But that doesn't take away with uh, what this game has on its own two legs, right? It stands up on its own two feet. However, there was some things that I didn't like. I hated riding mounts in this game. Uh, flat out, it was horrible. I didn't like it. And the climbing felt a little clunky and a little dated. But other than that, the combat felt swift, smooth, silky. It was fantastic. And uh, ultimately, the story was actually pretty good. Aloy, in the beginning and even in the middle to the late middle and early late game, she was just flat out not likable. But she redeemed herself in the very, very end. I just hate the fact that she didn't learn anything really from the events in the first game, at least I would have expected that she would have learned a lot from the first game, but going into this one, she just, it, it kind of felt like she just went backwards, you know, in terms of trusting people, but luckily for me, she ended up learning a lot by the end, in the last, uh, you know, in the very end of the game, and it's unfortunate that it took so long for it to get to that point, but at the very end of the game, she learned a lot from her experiences. And hopefully in the next game, seeing as it kind of left in a cliffhanger, there's going to be a third game, clearly. Or maybe they're just setting up the DLC. I'm not entirely sure, but we'll find out whenever they decide to announce some stuff. But hopefully when it gets to that point in time, we figure out or find out that Aloy has learned a lot from her experiences in this game and in the last game. Because, frankly speaking, she just wasn't very likable for the majority of this game, and that's unfortunate in my opinion. But, again, a lot of the stuff that were strong about this game were really, really strong. But the parts that I that were not very strong, in my opinion, weren't very good at all. So, it kind of leaves me in a little bit of a, a weird place, right? But if I was to rate it, I don't do ratings in this channel, but if I was to like, rate it in a scale of 1 through 10, I would probably put it in a high 7. Maybe er, uh, low 8. Because it was a good game, but it wasn't the greatest game of all time, you know? But that's just my take, guys. Let me know down in the comment section if you guys enjoyed this Let's Play. Or even if you guys played it yourself. And let me know what you guys thought of it yourselves. But like I said before, that's going to go ahead and do it for this one, guys. If you enjoyed this video or the series, do me a favor. Drop a like on this video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, catch you guys in the next one. Deuces. Thank you.